Hi guys, welcome to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'm Adam, this is the preview for Stoke against Manchester United. The Boxing Day clash and Louis van Gaal has just stormed out of his press conference ahead of the game. And to be honest, I actually don't blame him. Now, some of the pressure that Louis van Gaal has been under this week and in the last couple of weeks is justified. Manchester United going out of the Champions League, Manchester United's form in front of goal, and now our recent form in the last couple of weeks where we haven't won a game in like six or seven just has not been good enough. Um, yes, we've had our problems, but the pressure that has Louis van Gaal has come under has been deserved. Let's be honest, any manager worth their cross at Manchester United would be under pressure after, after this sort of run. But some of it has been very, very disrespectful to Louis van Gaal, both from journalists and from fans on social media. And I can understand why he would walk out of the press conference. Why would you want to speak with a bunch of guys that have been talking shit about you for a lot of the season? It seems very Fergie-esque. And I know some people will say, oh, he's lost the plot, he's losing it, etc. But I like to see a bit of fire in his belly and you know, giving back to people that are giving him some. And hopefully that means he's still got something in him to actually turn this job around. Now, I don't think Louis van Gaal will be here much beyond the season. Um, I think he may have taken us as far as he, he can in the terms of he's not going to be around for five to ten years. We know that. Um, he's, he's got rid of a lot of deadwood players. He's stabilised the club and he's got us competing at the right end of the table. But there are a lot of negatives as well. The style of football hasn't been good enough, hasn't been suited to the Premier League. And it seems like a lot of players are getting frustrated with the way Louis van Gaal is. But the manager still deserves you know, respect. Um, in the press conference as well, he mentions how he feels the love and warmth and support of Carrington. And I really do hope that's true because if we do turn this around, especially our immediate form, we need the players behind the manager. Now, whether Louis van Gaal is here in May, June, July, whatever, or is gone by January, whatever happens, we need the players playing for that shirt and battling because Stoke is going to be a difficult game. Um, people saying they want us to lose against Stoke, so the pressure increases on Louis van Gaal. I don't buy into that at all. I don't want that to happen. Whatever the game, whoever the manager, whoever the players, we should want Manchester United to win and we should be fully behind that. Um, Stoke is going to be a difficult game um, at the weekend. Even if we were in good form, it would be a difficult game. Going into it in this kind of form leaves, us, leaves me worrying for it. But hopefully it's the kind of game where Manchester United can turn up, roll their sleeves up, dig in and get a result. And we'll certainly find out whether the players are still pulling in the same direction as the manager. Obviously, if things don't improve, then I can't see Louis van Gaal being here much longer. Whether Jose Mourinho is the answer, I don't think so. Although he doesn't leave us with much other options because there's not many elite managers out there. I think Ryan Giggs would be a completely wrong choice, um, far too early. And whilst the reward is great, the risk is too high. And Manchester United are not in a position where we can be risking things. So that said, I'd rather have someone like Mourinho than Ryan Giggs. But I think Jose Mourinho comes with far too much baggage for Manchester United in the long run. And I wouldn't like to see us go anywhere near him. But I know that might not be the case. And he might end up rocking, at Man rocking up at Manchester United sometime soon. But that said, Van Gaal is still our manager. We need to get behind this team. We need to get a result at Stoke on Saturday. I'm looking forward to the game. I always look forward to Boxing Day football. Some of my favourite fixtures of the year. And they usually... Full of goals. Let's hope that happens this time around as well with Manchester United getting the majority of them. Stoke are playing some good stuff at the moment. They're winning some big games as well. Um, they've got some fantastic players. Remember when they were a long ball, tough tackling, bottom of the table, relegation battling team. And now they've got some players that can actually play football. Players that haven't excelled at the top, top, top level when they've been at bigger clubs. Um, but... They are fantastic players. And if you give them time and space on their day, you're looking at the likes of Afalai, Shakiri, um, Bojan, um, you know, Arnautovic even. They've got some fantastic footballers. So we'll need to be on our toes. We'll need to be on our game that day. I think Morgan Schneidlin being selected is crucial for Manchester United. He's back. Get him back in this 11. I'll obviously have my 11 coming up straight after as well. So check that out. But yeah, 
this is my thoughts at the moment, especially after seeing Louis van Gaal's press conference. The fans and everyone needs to be behind the team on Saturday, regardless of whether you're van Gaal in or van Gaal out. Whatever happens, will happen. If we lose that game, then I can't see Louis being around much longer, to be honest. But let's get behind the team, guys. Anyway, get your comments in below. Let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Kohler TV. Check out my 11, which will be coming up straight after this as well. And the first football manager video will be up this week as well. See you later.